Good morning, uh, this is Vasil from Built for Speed and we're back uh, and I'm doing some more DIY videos. Today I'm gonna keep working, uh, I gotta finish my services on my 2011 Scion TC, they're gonna be from 2011 to 2016. Uh, model, the 2.5 liter automatic transmission, so uh, today we're gonna be doing the transmission service. I'm gonna be changing the transmission uh, oil filter and then also the transmission oil. Partially, obviously, you're not gonna be able to change um, uh, all of it because then like full capacity is like 10 quarts. We're probably gonna do maybe almost half of it But depending on how much we drain I got four quarts from the store So we'll see how much drain out uh, some people say two quarts some people say four so I got four just in case uh, But yeah today I'm gonna show you guys how to drain and fill the transmission how to set level to it How to make sure it's level because there's no dipstick in these cars So how to fill it pretty much how to drain it how to pull the pan and how to change the filter if any of you guys are interested so yeah, the car is on the lift. Um, you can do this uh, on jack stands. So you just lift your car up everywhere. Just put four jack stands all the way around the car. Put it on jack stands. You can do the same thing uh, on jack stands. You don't necessarily need a lift. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so number one thing you want to pull off your left front wheel. That's driver's side front wheel on the transmission side. Um, and then there's going to be a cover right here like that. And it has four clips, two down there and then one or two up there, as you can see. And you just want to move this cover down. There's probably another one over there, but I'm not going to take it off. And you want to access this fill plug right there. This is the fill plug. So you want to make sure you can get this one loose uh, before you start anything so you can fill the transmission. Um, it's 24 millimeter. I just loosened it up with 24 millimeter half inch and then I had a torque bar. It's a little tight sometimes. Sometimes it's not, I don't think you need this big, but it makes my job easier. So yeah, we got to make sure this loose so I can, you can screw it on and screw it with your fingers. So now we're ready to go. So now we can go ahead and uh, pull the drain plug and then the level plug out, drain the transmission, and then I'll take the oil pan off and then change the filter also. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to do that also. Okay, so next you will need a six millimeter hex and then pull out the drain plug, which is right there. And you can see the oil is really, really black. So it's long overdue. I'm a little over 100,000 miles. It is not recommended. I bought the car over 100,000 miles, so not my fault. I don't usually run that long without changing the transmission fluid, but this is the case. I'm going to measure how much I drain out. There's still a level plug in there. Uh, I'm going to let you guys know in a minute how what size that is, but there is a level plug. It's like a tube or whatever inside of the drain plug right there. So once it stops dripping really bad, I will just stick uh, another hex in there and uh, screw that out also okay so as you guys can see it's still six millimeter you just stick it in there and you just screw it out as you, if you guys can see right there it just comes right out just like okay it's out i think now we're just gonna remove it like that right there you see that little pipe that's in there also so you see how much it drains out so it stopped draining and now i opened it took this out the level plug and it's draining some more okay so now you see i got the oil pan off you needed i needed a quarter inch extension and the wobbly and an impact three eighths and then I, I got an adapter from three eighths to quarter inch and i was able to get the bolts over there under this cross member you can probably get it off use this get those two bolts loose and these two and you can probably get it out but i didn't want to so i just i was able to get it with the wobbly so I got all the 10 millimeter bolts off so i got the oil pan off right there and yeah now we can see the filter i think it has a screw there and a screw there and then uh, the filter should come loose so i'm gonna try to do that right now okay so i was right so it was just the two bolts one right there one back there and the filter comes out pretty easily and then this is the hole that the filter was in right there and when i took the filter out there's a bunch of fluid that popped poured out of there too so yeah be careful on that when you pull the filter it will spill so make sure you have some sort of uh, catch can underneath so yeah now we're gonna put the new filter on and bolt it on with those two bolts okay so on the new gasket it's rubber so it's kind of hard to line up so the holes on the gaskets are a little bit smaller than in the pan so once you insert i just pre pre-insert the bolts so it's kind of easier to catch the gasket so it doesn't slide in everywhere so if you can see just kind of every corner so the gasket doesn't run away from me and yeah now we're ready to put in and the filter is bolted up also so got that filter bolted up one bolt there one bolt there so now i wipe the surface off and now we're gonna put the oil pan with the new gasket on 
Okay, so now that I got all the 10 millimeter bolts nice and snug, I put the level plug in there. I just get a nice and snug in there too. You don't want to tighten it crazy. Just kind of, you know, give it a nice tight. Once it stops, you're, you're done. So yeah, now I'm going to measure how much fluid I got in there. If it's two quarts, I'm going to just put two quarts through the fill plug that I took out right before I started this job. I want to put two quarts in there, go through some gears, drain it again, and then put the other two quarts. So that way I'll get as much fluid out, kind of the old fluid out as possible from the transmission. So yeah, if it's two quarts, I'm going to test it right now. So I'm going to put the plug back in right now, which is right here. I'm going to snug it up, make sure it doesn't leak. It's the same size, the same size as the the fill the level plug, so it's six millimeter. Just get a snug right there. Okay, now we're gonna go to measuring how much fluid I got and then put the same amount in there and go through the gears and then yeah, like I said, if it's not more than two quarts, I got four of them, so I'll just put if it's just two quarts, I'll put it in there, go through gears, drain it again, and then put the other two quarts in and, and then level it out with the temperature and all that. Okay, as you guys can see, this is one, two, three. I would say it's about three and a half quarts. It's right there in between three and four quarts that drained out. So three and a half quarts, that's what I drained out. Uh, that's with, uh, with the filter change. So I ch I'm changing the filters. So I'm pulling the, the filter so that lets quite a bit of fluid out. And I pull the oil pan so that lets even more fluid out. If you're doing the, just a drain with no filter without pulling the pan, it's probably going to be about two, two and a half, uh, maybe up to three maximum. But I don't think it's going to be three. But I think it's probably going to be like three, two and a half, of course. But if you're going to pull the pan and the filter, it's probably going to drain out pretty close to four, so like three and a half, uh, maybe in some cases four almost. But yeah. So I'm almost drained out four, so I'm just gonna put in the four. You wanna usually put in just a little bit more than came, what came out, out of it because uh, you never know if it, who has been in the transmission and even factory if they even filled it 100% properly. But the, you wanna heat it up to temperature, which I think is like around 120 degrees. Uh, I believe Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure, I think it's Fahrenheit. Uh, heat it up to that temperature and then with the car running in park you pull the drain plug the level plug stays in there that's what the level plug is uh, for um, you heat it up to temperature with the car running pull the uh, drain plug and air, any excess fluid will drain out and it will start trickling that you just put the drain plug in and then pretty much is level so just a little bit over you know with the a little you put if you put in a little bit like half a quart more than what came out it's fine it's gonna be more new fluid is gonna mix with the old one and you're gonna end up with more new fluid obviously and then any excess just you know let it drain out uh through the drain plug so that's what we're gonna do now we'll need something like this or a pump to suck out from the cords um anyways i got this fluid it's um a demasu, so I think this is a Japanese fluid. Uh, it's ATF WS uh, right here. Uh, it is all you can use the Toyota WS fluid, whichever one. But this one, people say it's a lot better. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, it's this is better than Valvoline and all that. So I'm gonna try it, give it a shot, and uh, see what happens. But this is the one I'm flu you know, I'm using. Here's the the right specs and everything for this vehicle. So yeah, I have four quarts, and I'm gonna use one of these. So that will allow me to stick the funnel in the transmission and then just pour fluid out here by the caliper. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I checked uh, which uh, temperature the transmission is to be at. It has to be uh, in between 104 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so right now I got my scanner hooked up. We're at 96 and the car has been running for probably around three to four minutes. So we're getting, it's 97 now, so, and then I shifted through gears, reverse, neutral, drive, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back, and just kind of back and forth, did that about four to six times. And now just waiting for the, the, the temperature to get above 104, uh, 105, so it's in between 104 to 110. So if you see your temp, but if you guys uh, don't have a scanner, uh, I would just recommend going through gears 
like six times and hold it in each gear for about 10 seconds with your brake with your foot on the brake and uh, just let the car idle for about five minutes after five minutes of uh, the car idling and you're going through gears uh, you can go ahead and pull the drain plug like I will show you in a second uh, and then yeah let the car set the level and then put the plug back in okay as you guys can see we're at 104 so now I can go ahead and uh, pull the plug on the transmission climb under there get the key the car is on idling in park This. You can see it's not much draining out, so you want to wait until this starts kind of trickling really fast, dripping. That's getting pretty close. Okay, right there. When it starts dripping really fast, you want to close it. And then make sure you snug it kind of tight. You don't want to crazy tighten it, but just enough so the washer will seal. So yeah, now we're good. We're gonna go for a test drive. So with this oil, well, it could be just because, you know, the oil was bad, the filter was plugged, that they would, the car was kind of shifting a little weird. But now that I changed the oil and the filter, so the flow and everything is probably better in there. So the shift is really smooth. So it's kind of a little bit quicker too. It's just zoom, zoom, like you heard. Uh, and I can do it again right now. And... Yeah, it's nice and smooth now so it wasn't like really bad it, well, I didn't have any like the transmission jerking issue or anything like that but it was a little weird shift uh, but yeah now it's all fixed so yeah the transmission uh, service is done and it's a uh, car feels good all right so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up you know I try to do as much as possible on these DIY videos on all the cars that I work on uh, sometimes I don't have time but when I do I try to make one to help you guys out so it would be really appreciated if you guys hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and as usual see you next time